did it take you a little while to settle in today? And then did you feel better as the innings went on? Yeah, I think that's, I'd, I'd say that's about how I felt about it. I think it, it took just a minute. Uh, I was able to execute on some pitches, but some deep counts before I was able to execute. Um, so the, the second and third, I thought I sort of pressed the issue a little better with getting strike one and, and forcing, um, forcing contact. How odd has this whole experience been for you so far in trying to get ready in what is almost the middle of July for a season that's going to be 60 games? It's been strange, that, you know, just sort of being in, in a hotel room, having a lot of downtime. Uh, it's kind of the opposite of what it was for the last seven, eight months. So um, it's weird. I still haven't got used to that. But um, as far as preparing, that stuff's normal. It is a little strange to walk out to an empty Yankee stadium. But I think uh, as we keep going, we'll get more and more used to that. Thank you. Who has another question for Jay? Brendan Cuddy, go ahead and unmute. Hey, Jay, thanks for taking the time. Can you hear me? I might be frozen. I got you. Yep. Okay, good. Uh, just can I ask you your reaction to hearing about Araldis' positive coronavirus test and if that makes you any more concerned about continuing this season? Um, you know, it's, uh, I think it's unfortunate to, to hear that. You don't want to hear any of our players, you know, come down with, with that. But, um, I think we knew going in, it was, there was potential for that. And I think if we want to make this thing work, I think we got to understand that th these things might happen and we just got to be as responsible as we can to, um, protect ourselves and our teammates and, and everybody in here. So, um, you know, we have our protocols in place, and I think we just we just have to try to follow those best we can. Thank you, John. Sure. All right, so Jay Happ today uh, pitching. I think he threw some, somewhere in the neighborhood of 60 pitches. Let's take a look. 51 pitches, so potentially next time out, 60, 65. And as Michael Kay kind of alluded to, maybe you get him in that 80 to 90 range. Right, and I thought that today we saw who Jay, Jay Happ is. You see the numbers right there. He ends up with the four strikeouts. As Meredith asked him at the outset of her conversation, sputtered a little bit early on. Sanchez ended up with a double off of him, but also had a couple of strikeouts in that first inning. And I think with Happ, it's, it's about ramping him up to whatever that pitch count becomes. Yeah. You're right, Bob. I think Garrett Cole is up on a mountaintop, and he's a guy maybe you can get six or seven innings out of, his, out of him in that first start. Maybe not seven. I don't know if they push him that far. But with Jay Happ, it might be five innings. Just give us five innings your first go-around, and then use the bullpen after that. And